folks, how is everybody? I hope everybody is well. So, um, I just want to have a conversation. So let's just have a conversation. Um, I'm always talking away to my cards myself. So uh, let's invite someone into the reading. So uh, all of you close your eyes. <laughs> close your eyes and think of your person. Uh, think of every little detail. <laughs> think of all their freckles and everything. <laughs> um, and we'll see who's showing up today. So who is showing up to the reading today? Who is this person? Six of Pentacles. The Nine of Pentacles. The Ten of Swords. The Five of Pentacles. And the Eight of Wands. Okay, for some of you this was someone here who was initially giving you like a lot of attention. A lot of attention. This person was generous. For some of you they were generous with their time, their energy. And uh, there's that pop up. I was wondering where you were. Um, they were maybe gifting you things. Uh, for some of you, that this person was spending money on you. Um, and then, like, it just kind of flipped because I'm seeing like this ending, um, a sense of betrayal. Um, and then I'm seeing this person like being in the opposite sort of energy where there was like a severe lack then in the connection. Um, maybe this person did go through some sort of like financial difficulties and. Um, you know, went from maybe, you know, being comfortable to being a little bit less comfortable. Um, but it, it looks more, to be honest, in terms of, like, communication. So uh, it could have been that, you know, you and this person were connecting lots, talking lots, and then all of a sudden this person just, like, uh, disappeared. Uh, some of you could be dealing with a Leo here. Doesn't necessarily have to be. Um, but, yeah, things started off great. Fantastic. Amazing. Um, it looks wonderful. Like, you thought this person was great <laughs> you know you were like this person was just the bees knees really aren't they um you thought you'd find your person by the looks of things some of you are wondering whether somebody else influenced this person you know like a third uh, person or if there was competition that sort of thing oh two cards wanted to come out now it's interesting um, because I am seeing this communication here uh, being sort of wishy-washy. Uh, at the start it looked quite strong. It's coming through here again that um, there could have been a conversation here about where the relationship was going. Maybe that's what sort of changed things. Um, some of you worked with this person and no longer work with this person specifically. Um, but this person, I don't know. So you want to come to like opening up emotionally and uh, maintaining that uh, sort of momentum that was being built. Because I'm seeing it. It's so strange because I'm seeing this beautiful energy right off the bat and then instead of the momentum you know going across and getting stronger momentum Shelley that's what that is um, it seems to be going in the opposite direction and uh, for some of you this person is not as well off as you are you know maybe financially uh, maybe they're not as you know stable as you are um, and if that's not to do with finances this is to do just with like life in general you could be more like a settled sort of person um, this person could be a little bit more um, scattered we'll say scattered right so let's see so this is someone here who uh, did a bit of a, a 180 shall we say right what is this person's thoughts about you oh no 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 I don't want to do that I want I wanted to see what this person has to say uh, so you can talk to me. What is it you want to say to the viewer? What is it you want to say to the viewer? <sighs> okay, so we're starting off with some truth. Okay, good. Uh, some of you are um, obviously not sure of what's going on. Well, why did this person do this? Like, you know, things seem to be going very well. So starting off with this uh, is a good is a good card to see. So we're, we're getting some answers here. This is so interesting because um, what this person's telling me here is that they are aware of something um, and it's to do with how happy that you make this person and um, this person again you know I'm getting Leo and Libra here as well so um, I think I said Leo already didn't I so Leo's coming through very strong um, this person knows that you are their happiness things were going well between you so it wasn't like just in your mind it's not like you imagined it this person's telling me that they thought that too they felt it too and um, it was strong it was intense but this person like snuck away and they sort of like closed their eyes to this they turned their head in a sense and um you know they're saying here that uh, they do want to make things right they want to make things right yeah look it's coming through here that this person just snuck away for some of you this person ghosted you um they just ghosted you and uh, they may have even 
said they wanted to be friends or something and um, ended something either. Yeah, okay, so this person here is now telling me that uh, they really do feel like you guys could have everything. That They think that they have what it takes to turn this around with you. You might have other ideas. <laughs> but this person is telling me that they think that they can turn this around. That, you know, the intensity of this connection was so strong um, that it kind of has to turn back around here. Uh, for some of you, this person lives far away from you. Um, there could be even, like, you know, you would need to go on, like, an aeroplane or something um, to uh, see this person, for some of you. Um, and then for others, this person is simply talking about, like, future plans and that sort of thing. What else? What else have you got to say for yourself? The Empress... The Knight of Wands, the Ten of Wands, the Ace of Pentacles. Okay, for some of you there could have been like a pregnancy. Um, I don't know. There could be something to do with the pregnancy involved in all of this as well. With that Empress and the Ace of Wands here. Uh, especially with that Knight of Wands as well. So I don't know. <laughs> for some of you maybe this person got you pregnant. Um, and this kind of like scared them or something. But uh, Or maybe they got somebody else pregnant. But um, yeah, it feels like this person here. They're kind of indicating to me that like they have feelings for you. And... Um, these feelings are heavy, they're not going away, they haven't went away, they do want a new beginning, but they're holding back from you. So they're telling me they're holding back, right, why? Strength definitely resisting here. There's this urge, this desire, they're, that's landing on top of the Knight of Wands with the Empress, so um, there is a strong urge here. This person thinks that you are above them, so I don't know if that's why. Three of Pentacles, Ace of Wands, Eight of Wands, and the Ten of Cups. Wow, this person could have been afraid. There's uh, a lot here. I mean, the Eight of Wands, traditionally Cupid's arrows. Um, that feeling that you, fe you felt when you first met this person, that instant attraction, um, this sort of like, wow, almost like a fairy tale, like a whirlwind. Um, they felt it too. Um, there was desire, there was feelings, there was like emotions and passion and lust. And um, there's that defensiveness. It's coming in on top of the strength card, so this person started pushing you away. I think this was fair. Started getting into their own head by the looks of things. Oh, this is about commitment. Okay, so um, hmm, maybe you were dealing with someone here who was not expecting, you know, accidentally in love here. <laughs> Someone's accidentally fallen in love. Uh, maybe they were like uh, expecting something passionate, something fun, something casual, you know, just enjoy things. They've started to get feelings. It's so cliche, but um, it is what they're kind of indicating here. Uh, that's when those walls, those defenses went up. Uh, and now this person's sitting thinking, I'm like, oops. So what are you going to do? What are you going to do? person's not fully sure yet um, on the commitment thing but are you going to show back up in the viewer's life are you going to apologize I think that they do want to apologize because justice came out are you going to apologize well hmm. Okay, so this person um, might be afraid that you might have a few choice words for them. Um, yeah, look, there's the eight of wands at the bottom of the deck. Um, you know, if they were to come forward here because they know that they have, like, hurt you. Um, but they're kind of indicating that they might do it anyway. And um, the attraction here is strong. Uh, some of you are dealing with a twin flame. Um, and it's just like you rocked this person's world in a way that it was like everything just sort of like him crumbling down. But you wouldn't know it from the way that this person ran. It was like dust in their wake, wasn't there? The resilience of modern homo sapien, it says on that uh, card. That's one of the we friends decks, but again, it's showing that desire, even though the fear is there, they're just, you know, they're going to push forward, it's resilience. Page of Swords, the Hermit, the Page of Wands, and the Four of Cups. So um, this person could be spying on you, and uh, maybe you're spying on this person as well, but I think that in silence, because it's indicating silence here, um, this person has been, you know, kind of watching, <laughs> lurking in the background. Uh, they want to send a message here, they're missing you. Um, but again, with the Queen of Swords at the bottom of the deck, they might not be sure. Look, there's the Nine of uh, nine of Swords, and there's the, the Apology. Look, mm -hmm. And it's because of the time that's passed here, perhaps, with that Temperance card. Um, and for some of you, this person feels like if they come in in a like, super um, like flirty, passionate way, that um, you may, again, cut them off. There's a butterfly on her shoulder, so um, she's kind of beckoning, though, isn't she? So, yeah, perhaps you do want this person to reach out to you, um, but you're expecting some sort of change if this person does. Um, and if this person doesn't come forward with some sort of change, um, I don't think that you're going to uh, really uh, put up with this, uh, especially since um, they've already snuck away. Um, this person was wearing a mask. 
Right, final message for the viewer. What do you want to say? Are you going to apologize? Right, okay. So what this person's now saying, okay, is that um, in terms of like the commitment thing, that's still not decided, okay? This person's still, um, mm, for some of you, ah, you know, uh, some of you, this person could be, one second. Hi, I have to go. <laughs> uh, for some of you, this person's still not decided on the commitment thing, but they do at the very least want to apologize. Uh, there is mutual feelings here. So, um, yeah, I have to go. I'm sorry. <laughs> Bye.